Now let's look at our booklet. Notes. Crazy color, milk experiment, water magnifier. Blow up balloon, four color flowers. Try growing gummy bears in different solutions. Sweet or salty bubbles. Make your own bubble blower, pH strips, lava flask, add some fizz to your lemonade, glitter slime, make co to googly opley, make a rainbow, dancing raisins, Try to look at these things through your microscope and science kit and as room decor. Now let's see what we can make. The first experiment we are going to do is crazy color milk experiment. We are going to need milk, a Petri dish, food coloring, dishwashing soap, and cotton swab. Now let's get our Petri dish. Let's fill the Petri dish with milk so you can see the Petri dish or the, the table under it. Now let's do that. Now when you pour the milk in, add one dot of each color of food coloring all over the milk in the Petri dish. Let's get the food coloring. Now get one of each color, add one drop. And red. Now you get a cotton swab. Now you try to touch the milk with the cotton swab, but it all moves away. What? I know, right? Look at this. We can make a heart. That is beautiful. Now using some soap. We are going to put one drop of soap in here. And look at that, my experiment. Where's all the colors, you might ask? Around the Petri dish. That is cool. Now, let's add one more. And look at the bubbles. Now let's dump it out and try another experiment. Now, let's test the pH strips. You need two test tubes right over there and one P. No, two pH chips and the journal book, which is in there. So now let's get our ingredients. Two pH strips and our journal book. Now you can put that back in there. Close it up. And now we're going to open this up. And pour some milk in here. Here we have the milk and soap with water. Now let's put this inside and put this one inside. Leave it in for a while. This one was put in first so we are going to take it out and put it here. Looks like 7.5 so pH for soap and water is 7.5. Now let's take out the milk. And it might be seven and, yep, seven and 7.5. So the soap and water has more acid. Now let's clean up this experiment and do one more. There are so many cool projects, now let's try making rainbow. We need food coloring, a whole bunch of colors, liquid of different designs, honey, corn syrup, rubbing alcohol, water, dish soap and vegetable oil, funnel and a jar. Now let's follow these instructions to make a rainbow in a jar. So we're gonna take our jar, open up the lid, perfect. 
Start with honey and add small amounts of honey to the bottom of the jar. Let's do that! And fill up the bottom. Now, after we finish adding the honey, we are going to be adding three drops of green. Now, I'm going to start mixing with my pipette. Look at that green honey. I recommend not to eat it. Even though it looks so good. Keep mixing until it's all mixed together. Now let's make more. You need to add some corn syrup to a separate jar. That looks like enough. Now let's add some yellow. One, two, three. Now let's get our pipette and mix it. Keep mixing until everything's yellow. Now let's pour it inside the jar. Look at that orange go! Keep going until it's empty. Now let's add some dish soap, also known as pink soap. That looks like about enough. Now let's do the same step and add some blue or colored water blue. We added some blue in the water and look how cool that looks. Now let's shake it, shake it, shake it. That looks good enough. And now let's pour it in. Now you're gonna add some oil and put some inside, but don't add coloring to it. Look how cool that looks. What? Last but not least, we add some rubbing alcohol and put two drops of food coloring. Look at that, that looks cool. Now you mix, mix, mix. This is how it looks when it's mixed. Now let's top this off. Look at that, it turns purple. This experiment is so cool. And here we have our MC2 rainbow jar. Now let's top it off. And there we go, that looks awesome. When you put it to the light, you can see better the different colors. Now let's see what happens when we mix it all together. Shake, shake, shake. Look at that, the top is purple, but green and yellow still stay. What happens if we flip it upside down? See, green and yellow are coming down. That looks cool. Now flick it back over and see what happens. All this slides down because of the liquid and then over here, it's still purple. Everything, this is so much fun. Tell me down below which was your favorite experiment. I might try more later. Bye!